Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome back to a blind let's play of Mass Effect 3. Uh, I've already cleared the game. This is a bonus episode. I reloaded so that I can do the other endings on screen. And uh, to my dismay, we start here, uh, which is kind of poopy. Because uh, that means I have a lot of videos to go through. Oh, bye bye head. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the part after the elusive man unless I have something to say along the way but this sort of sucks they have to go through all of this just to experience the end again the ends the end multiple plural. the ends again anyways uh, okay, I'm gonna keep you around for this guy. I'm gonna try to get a headshot see if that's possible I'm gonna do it with one shot and here just go slowly coyote just no I want to take his head off no yeah, I took his head off. <laughs> okay, he still missed that second shot. But anyways, I'm going to catch you when there's something important to say. Oh my god, though, you can't cancel past any of these cinematics either. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll watch it again. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know about all of you, but to have to do this three more times just to see the endings... Uh... <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe I should have just watched the YouTube video. <sighs> God, now I gotta cut through all this. I can't pass any of it though. I can't look. Like, I, I can't. I can't skip it. Should I do one round where I respond completely different? And see what happens? Uh, I'm just afraid that that's gonna affect the ending I get. You guys can let me know if it does, but at least it allows me to uh, play this and experience something differently with you guys. Of course, I don't need to get through this. Should I go for it? Should I go for all the renegade options and see what happens? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Let, let, let's actually focus here. Why waste your time with us if you can control the Reapers? Because I need you to believe. You're not when get humanity that. discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined. There were some who thought the relay should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. That might have. Well, no, that wouldn't. Well, but look at what. Would that have saved them? Would they have been considered an advanced Since race if they discovery, never used the mass relays? Like, what if that was one of the parameters of the crucible to decide whether or not you were advanced or not? Us again, a thousandfold. But. That's an interesting class. That's an interesting. Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Here's... Never. A lot of activity in the comments got me thinking about a lot of things because just you guys are throwing so so many ideas at me that I was forced to kind of think through all the narrative beats and stuff. I still haven't searched online for any, anything, just to be clear. So. I don't have the extra context yet. I don't have the, the I don't have other th other ideas that have been out there for years, but it got me to just because I'm trying to narrow down what my own head canon is, because I want to write it all. I want to write it out at one point. Maybe I'll do a video about like how I see things from the coyote perspective. And again, I'm the kind of like I, I like to do creative exercises where I could play an entirely different character. I, it could turn into an entirely different narrative, like construction where I can come up with an entirely different reasoning for how the crucible works how the the what the heart the purpose of the harvest is and what the, why the Leviathan's created the, you know all that stuff I can I can complete come up with something completely new right but I'm trying to get firm on the idea of what this this particular experience was like and what the pieces mean um, and so there was uh, I was going to comment on something about what he just say what did you say a waste of the opportunity never the control thing oh, man I, I kind of forget what I was about to say uh, it was something about oh good uh, comment was made about how I thought it was excellent where the three choices align with the three different uh, figures that tried one of the options that the crucible had available you had Saren who tried synthesis and it was a failed opportunity. I'll talk about that a little bit more too, because I've had I've been able to work out my thoughts about some of the lines that the kid says, that the crucible says. You have the elusive man who tries control. He's all about the control option, and it fails because he's possibly already indoctrinated. He didn't he didn't have the right uh, composition. He wasn't quote unquote ready, uh, which is also a line that I, uh, the crucible puts out there. Um, 
And then there's Anderson, who just said the line there, and I just caught it for the first time, where Anderson's all about destroy. The order from the military perspective is, here's the enemy. It's a very human kind of thing to do throughout the entire trilogy, too. It's just like, there's the enemy, and you just destroy it. You eliminate the, um, the threat. Uh, and that's the Anderson choice. And Anderson does go to the destroy con console. The elusive man obviously went to the control console and failed or got to this point or whatever. And then there's Saren. And I, I, and I believe, I believe, and we'll see, because I'm, I'm going to experience, because I'm going off memory still. I haven't even rewatched. I, I edited the video, I put it online, and then I've been stuck in 48 hours of comments. <laughs> it's been awesome. Um, but I want to re-listen to what the Crucible says for very key writing like very very key words being used but i believe one of the words was something along the lines of we tried that as something before we tried something before something like that i think the crucible is referring to sarah in there we'll see when we get there i'm going to keep going with the renegade options because i want to hear the new lines so maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision no no it's not that simple isn't it you're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? Future Shepard. There's always another way. Future I've Shepherd. dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> with certainty. And then what? But it's not with certainty. He didn't, didn't Look work. at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. <laughs> Isn't the presumption that he's already been up there and tried because they showed that clip? Or neither of these have been up there to try. That was just kind of a, if they got up there, I that's what, what they would do. To you. Maybe something like that, you know. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me about the or you. The I've got it's thoughts. It's about I things share so much bigger thing. than just all so of us. So it makes it interesting for you guys. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. I just have to remember all the stuff I've been typing for the last 48 hours. It's crazy. An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? Then open the arms. Let the Crucible dock and use it to end this. I... I will. Do it. I... No, it will work. Out. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. Oh. No, I'm in control. No one is telling <laughs> me what to do. They're telling you not to do it. You're indoctrinated. Yeah, ooh, interesting. No, wow. no. The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It certainly can. It's not too late. Not by you. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... So he doesn't shoot himself? This I time? can't do that, Commander. Of course he, he does. can't. They own me now. You, you'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Okay, You're weak and you're selfish. Because of you, humanity will suffer. No! I, I saved humanity! This is no. so close to the spiel. You sacrificed us for your own selfish wants. Your lust for control. No! No! Blind dog you were supposed to protect us. And you failed. I can't pause either. No. I am the savior of humanity. I am the pinnacle of our Oh, okay, so you, you have to make the call, huh? Oh I oh I should have let it go. Well we'll do it another we'll do the next another round and I won't I won't interrupt and I'll see what happens. Okay then. There. Earth. I 
wish you could see it like I do. Whoa. It's uh, perfect. Interesting. I'm, I'm I'm mixing up scenes. Do we still get Do we still get the the Anderson scene, or was that a replacement for the Anderson scene? Oh man, I forget the order of, of stuff now. Hold on, I skip to this. I cannot. Oh, because he shoots himself in the head. That's why. <laughs> why don't I remember him saying anything? Because uh, his mouth was in gaping chasm. It was on the other side of the the platform here. Commander, we did it. Let's see if this is different. Yes, we did. It's. Uh... Quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Even that moment for Shepard, right, where he just... He can't even be sad about it. He's just like, it was bound to end up like this. You know, he's just kind of coming to Shepherd. accept that this is, Commander. it's the end of, I... could be the end of everything, you know? What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crucible's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. It would have been interesting Commander to play Shepherd. Mass Effect One Shepard, like see. if I really held true to the origin, the, the original sure core to... of, you know, he wouldn't have been in a relationship. The Jack thing did throw me off, and then I felt like she was such a reflection of what he could have turned into, that that's what kind of bound me to the Jack relationship. Had she not have been in Mass Effect Two, I don't think I would have done any of that, and it would have been true to Coyote in the sense that he would have gotten to this point and it would have just literally just been him like he wouldn't have made any personal connections and for this very reason so that when he had to make a choice like this in the original concept he could and he wouldn't be hurting anyone by doing it whereas any sacrifice at the end of a game like this he 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 the last things he'd be thinking of is like he's gonna leave Jack behind you know and he's not gonna hold his promise you know and that's why he doesn't he you know, the original concept, he says he doesn't get close to people, so he never has to break a promise. It's not because he doesn't care. He knows he cares. He just can't, he just want to hurt people. Boy, oh boy, do I have thoughts. A little bit better collected. I don't know if I can... Wake up. I don't know. Okay, that line is pretty good. That they say wake up because you've had dreams about this kid. This is the beginning of the game. What? Where am so I? that's a that's a kind of a cyclical narrative device there. The Citadel, it's my home. So Citadel is its home, the Crucible. Who are you? But the Crucible is. I am the catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the catalyst. Mm -hmm. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. 
Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. I think I've been saying solution. crucible in the comments, unfortunately. I think it's all sort of the same thing. But I've been missing, I've Chaos. been meaning the catalyst. The catalyst is the broken loop. I'm fairly certain I've been commenting the created the crucible. will always rebel against their creators. But we, we found a way to stop, stop that from happening. A I way to restore order. Uh, that's what I call at this point life. the glitch, the 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 big the big glitch no, in the loop, the cycle loop. Civilizations, leaving the younger ones see if this alone. One gives me a chance to. Just as we left your people alive the last yeah, see, time we were here. A computer a program doesn't have the right to make that decision. It's my final call. We it's like they don't, and so they so got they programmed in a way. New life. Storing the old life in Reaper form. Yeah, and that's not correct because that's not really effective. Yeah. Creating robotic forms, no, so you're not you storing can't. any DNA. You're not storing that old Without life. You're converting it into deadness, to nothing. They're not unique anymore. They they lose everything. So that never happens. I see it as a big galactic program. It's just so it's just the software that's running, that's dictating the way organic life starts and ends. And so, the glitch in the software was that when the Leviathans, how I how I perceive things, the Leviathans create this thing. They create this cap. They create this cap of intelligence because this thing can't be in unshack well i'll get to that in a second it's like it's not it's a shackled ai for all intents and purposes it has a ceiling to its intelligence it's not a godly intelligence it's been this intelligence for a, a million years or whatever the case might be um but its problem is that it was um i believe it would trigger it would trigger the harvest event before it gave the organic entities, the the organic life forms of the galaxy, before it gave them a chance to try something different themselves. They didn't need the help. They didn't need the help to survive. And so, and if and, and even if it led to their destruction, then my whole argument is that then let it have led to their destruction. But I'm of the firm belief that it would not have led to the destruction for the same reason why Earth didn't isn't in a, isn't in a nuclear war. There's a reason why the deterrent that like nuclear warheads are a deterrence. Like that's why they still exist. That's why they, the the con countries are still developing them. There's certain countries that have the power over that. It's because they can. It's assured. Um, it's assured progress into the future because no one wants to launch that first one. That will end the entire human race. I think now blow that up to the entire galaxy. So the Quarian create the Geth. The Geth get intelligence and ask, do I have a soul? The Geth, the Geth overreact. They freak out. They want to take out all the Geth. The Geth go, wait a minute, what the hell's going on? They want. They they then decide I'm going to pick up a weapon to defend myself. Some Geth are like, no, well, I don't want the. the I don't think these. Um, Geth should be destroyed, so the Corians stand in front of them, and so there's like it's like two sides are going at it, but inevitably the Corians create a scenario for themselves where they have to bail out so that they can survive. The Geth stay over, the Geth continue to evolve because they're machines; they can go wherever they want, they can develop, but then less resource, blah 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 blah. So, but the reality here is that if that was the trigger for then the Crucible to kick off, uh, the catalyst to kick off the uh the event the cycle event where it calls that scout thanks for helping me in the comments too the scout reaper comes so sovereign comes into the into you know the fold uh scouts out to see if uh you know it's time to end things again because some trigger event happens and if this is program if this is software then something decides what that is it has to be logical it has to be a one or a zero true or false and something happens and this thing goes i gotta send a scout out and they're going it's going to hook into the uh citadel which is the catalyst um um and then it's going to set off the harvest and it's going to call the reapers all these life forms aren't going to be prepared for it and all the advanced life forms are going to get wiped out and then it's going to clean the slate and all those all those other life forms get to evolve over the next fifty thousand years and then it happens again some trigger event happens some ai gets developed some ai asks if it has a soul or the equivalent it goes you know it develops past uh, human blah, blah blah human or not humans a life organic life forms intelligent life forms they freak out and then we're back here and it's the cycle continues because and, and the reason why it continues and this is why i call it the glitch the glitch in the uh catalyst code the crucible code i think it's all together whatever I, I probably have to go back in my comments and change all crucible references to catalyst but anyways the idea it always fails is because the catalyst intercepts uh 
intercepts natural evolution of the galactic community of the like how all of that is working to find harmony it intercepts that and it stops it from being able to figure that out on its own and it imposes that reset switch onto the galaxy and that's why it's this is not right this is never it's never going to be right this needs to be dissolved um this application this software this ai this crucible this kid whatever um keep saying he's crucible the catalyst anyway so the uh the way I see it is the reason why this cycle changed things. It's not necessarily just because I, it is because of Coyote because or Shepard because Shepard gets in the way and prevents Sovereign from kicking off that trigger that initiates the harvest the way they've always initiated it for every fifty thousand years for a million years. So the fact that then all of these galactic cultures were able to come together and form some sort of preemptive defense against the reaver uh, reapers they were able to form alliances to then you know hold them off in a way that's never been done before well of course it's never been done before because you've always gotten the one up on all the life forms in the galaxy and so they've never been able to prepare against this uh this attack it's like the they never got yeah anyway so the idea here is because they were able to get these extra couple years now there's like all these alliances there's all these like connections there's like synergy in the galaxy between the life forms and i think that's when the catalyst goes wait a minute <laughs> this feels like now you're like now you're ready quote unquote we'll see if that gets said but uh it's because it, they they it, it kind of bypassed the trigger it, it bypassed the trigger created a a glitch this thing stalled the program stalled and then shepherd comes comes up here and for what I like, I, I think he's got something to do with like his DNA comp composition because of the nanites and all that stuff. The way that the loose. so all of those like, all of those things came together like destiny. The crucible came together like destiny. It's like this perfect time, the perfect combination of events, and all because Sovereign didn't succeed to trigger that event when it was sent out to trigger the event. And that's that's literally all that ever had to had to happen. It's like not getting not getting surprise attacked and having this program just do its thing and and reaffirm to itself that it's doing the right thing because all these lower life forms get to evolve now who cares about the lower life? let the let let natural harmony play out that's kind of how this goes anyways let me just you said you're the catalyst let me just listen to this again what are you i'll give you my a thoughts construct. on the kid too an intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem so a construct. It's I was definitely a creation to spy. Everyone balance, understands that. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and Yeah, the and the Leviathans failed. Keep going. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But but I'm not just an ant. I I'm I'm an created. advanced life form with Correct. a consciousness. That's the difference. You're not an unshackled AI with a consciousness. Conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. Conscious. I was first created to oversee yes. the relations between Sorry. synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. You failed. But our efforts always ended in conflict. Because you failed. So a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. And you failed. I'm not going to just get that. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. Okay, I've been saying Crucible. Uh, However, in combination with the Awkward. Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? I've been calling the kid the Crucible. You would not know yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I've been And there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? Didn't know about it. We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we Right, realized. so they're there. That's the first thing where the application got confused. Well, clearly, they were. Well, if you were super intelligent, you didn't know that maybe they could clearly be more. Like, what's wrong with Like, it had a cap. That's where it's. You know, that's its first, like, that's what tells me that this is the first time this has ever happened this far. Anything's ever gotten this far. It's because clearly the Crucible was able to finally come to get, like, organics were able to pull this thing off behind the scenes. Like, they weren't even aware it was possible. Like, this thing wasn't even aware, the Catalyst wasn't aware that it was possible for this to even be possible. <laughs> so. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? 
My creators gave them form. I the gave them function. They the AI, the advanced gave AI. me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Tools giving tools power. That's Why? the problem here. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. Correctly, correct. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. Not the only solution. That was the uh, first that error. The first but how did the error. Reapers solve that anything? was the continuing error. Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed Another limits, solution would have been not to create be any devices to, to be able to do any of this with the program. That would have been the solution, the proper solution. The, the Leviathans, if they were constant, so powerful, they could have. Chaos. It is inevitable. Yeah, they could Reapers have overseen everything. All life. They're still Organic alive now. Imagine. Preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. Yeah, again, preserving how exactly? By creating shells? I mean, they're called husks for a reason. For creating shells, you 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 eradicate the entire existence of creatures like you have the collectors. Where did the culture go when you decided to collect them to preserve them forever? No, you, there's nothing got preserved. That's like the, the machine has a, a mistaken under like uh, a misinformed, mistaken, uh, uh, incorrectly defined idea of what these things are. Why? Because it can't comprehend what actual organic advanced life is or even life. It can't it can't comprehend it. It's the thing that can't comprehend. It's not the harbinger thing of like it's like the, the harbinger lines to shepherd along the way of like you can't comprehend this it's like beyond that maybe 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 if mass effect 3 was written by the same writer and then that through line was consistent uh maybe they could have made this be about dark energy and about all the stuff that um, i was told about what where this could have gone which wasn't my dark energy idea but it's it but it's an idea where it, i feel like it would have been the proper way to go and I'm not going to be able to iterate it here without reading it again, but uh, it's that this was an, a, a, an entropic effect so that the more life forms began to use biotics and use mass effect tech like stuff. And it was all pulling off. It was all pulling from this dark energy universe, which is like it's a, you know, not universes. It was pulling from dark energy in the galaxy and it was depleting it. And so it was like shrinking the galaxy every time like the further they got advanced and so it, eventually it would it would call a reverse big bang and and can like basically end the galaxy like advancement would end the galaxy and so the reapers were actually out there to harvest the the advanced life forms that were taking the dark energy and doing stuff with it they would harvest it so that that harvesting would put the dark energy back into the galaxy and stabilize it that's actually a beautiful marvelous idea maybe it's high concept yeah but you'd have a you'd have 80 out whatever 40 to 80 hours of a game to explain how that i was able to do that in what one minute like i read it once i got i got i got the idea that was set forth if that's correct if that's a legitimate uh, and it's not just fan theory or whatever but makes tons of sense to me it makes a lot more sense than what i've had to think about for 48 hours to try to make sense of this catalyst not the crucible um because it makes sense you harvest those so that all the all the biotic entities go away so that dark energy goes back and then you stabilize it you you give that give the galaxy the robustness it needs in order to sustain another cycle of life developing tapping into the mass effect maybe becoming biotics or whatever the next phase might be because the proteins had something that was biotic but same thing it was all tapping in as dark energy so um i don't know the point i was gonna make i'm, I'm gonna keep going but I think I was trying to say where I'm trying to figure out is like that that the I don't know, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, let's see. We're at war with the Reapers right now. Let's see how many more contradictions I can catch on the fly. The Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. 
Because like fire comes in two fire. forms. It can we come naturally balance. with lightning hitting a dry brush and then New boom, life. away it goes. Uh, but then there's then forge. there's uh, life forms creating fire. There's like someone could just light an entire forest on fire, create a wildfire, destroys an entire ecology. Uh, say it's an island, burn down a whole island to the ground. You just killed all the species like that. Yeah, that could have been a man-made fire and it would have wiped things out. It, it could have been malicious to do, the, to do so. Uh, or there's just a natural one. Just let things, f if they're going to fall because uh, a volcano goes off and whatever, cinders light things and wipe things. You know what? That volcano was there. Life grew around it. And then the volcano went off and naturally that life had to adapt to it or flee to other spots and adapt to it or die and just be gone. And, and or, 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 and it would have been just a natural cycle of things happening. And, but really what would happen is that creatures that did survive would evolve for the next, they would detect like, you know what I mean? So there's things like that. Whereas the reapers don't give, they don't give any of the life forms a chance to avoid this. Uh, they do in this cycle, almost like whatever your choice is. Well, no, because the choices matter here, but it's because if you synthesis, uh, synthesis then you, everything's sort of the same thing. But everything can, yeah, but no, anything can do whatever it wants after that too. So uh, anyways, uh, let's see, it's not your choice to make. Yeah, sure. Defining characteristic of organic life. Oh, that's what I said last time. I wanted to do something different. Make our own choices. And this is all about you the idea of having right agency. Ahead. Like we might as well be machines, just right. like you. So you have that's the difference. Organic you life the fact that you were standing has here, to have agency. It's I think, therefore I am. You understand that you have a but con you exist. And then you have agency over anymore. your destiny. You have agency over your choices. So now what? Once that goes away, we find or if it doesn't solution. exist, or if you're in pure survival Why mode, instinct like animal, like base animals, then Why help me? You have altered it's different the different tiers, man. What do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new. Okay, so the crucible changed me. But I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. Okay, that's the part I probably need to It is to now in your power today. to destroy us. So the crucible changed the catalyst. I think I wanted to say something along the lines of like, why did the crucible change the catalyst? It's like the but crucible finally gets developed and well. it's as if the crucible, that the power crucible source will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. And so maybe like this is the point where this glitch, the catalyst, not the crucible, uh, the catalyst maybe gets that first sense of the unshackling i guess is like now it's like in a circumstance the same as legion was when um it couldn't make a decision about deleting or uh, or rewriting the heretic gets uh that it had to get i had to think about all this very deeply today where it had to get shepherd to make the decision because they the geth have to agree with whatever the consensus is based on geth um like packets of information going from Geth uh, uh, runtimes in order to make that decision. And so Shepard was sort of the, uh, what did I call it today? I was trying to come up with like programming words for things because of the patch, like, I didn't say patch, did I? The loophole, the loophole. Shepard was kind of like the loophole in the Geth understanding of how they had to come to a decision via the consensus. They couldn't, the heretics wanted to be one way and what I call the standard geth, because that's what they are. The standard geth were like, we don't want to do that. We want community is our identity. It's we think, therefore we, we are. It's not, I think, therefore I am. Like the geth is the opposite of what we're, com we're comfortable uh, saying is identity. The geth's identity is the community. The geth identity is all of them as one thing. And that's why they were trying to achieve that by building these super hubs and stuff. But of course, the super hub gets attacked by the Koreans. And then they realize, oh my, oh shit, this is dangerous. Because uh, we can just, a weaker race can just wipe us out by hitting one of these super cities. And all of these runtimes go away. And we just, we get stupider. We get stupider. We, we get less, we, we're in a position where we can defend ourselves with less tactics. And we're going to get wiped out very quickly. And that's why, and this leads me to, I, I'm going you know, all over the place. But because I was going to say something first about the shepherd and the, the, the lead versus. So shepherd comes in and he says, I want to do, I want to do A instead of B. And then Legion says, 
then that shall be done. And then it's just done. It's just it's, it's a directive. It gets put into the consensus uh, because Shepard becomes a loophole because they didn't make the decision, but the decision was made by someone that they trusted and some blah, 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 blah. And so it gets done. And then all of them, well, in my case, they all become, they all get rewritten. Um, and then the consensus is whole again. And the consensus might go in the wrong direction, but the consensus is whole again. Uh, and that's the identity, that's like the natural state for them. The idea of um, what happened in Mass Effect 3, where I, I don't know how the whole, how things might have like branched out or whatever, but based on my experience, you know, it's like it could have been, it's that there were more of them, right? Because I rewrote them, there were more of them. And so when they had to switch sides, they became a stronger force against the Quarian or something like that. And so the idea, whatever the case might be, okay, the point there is um, Legion then has to have the choice again where it's like, well, he's got this Reaper code and he's got to do the one thing that in Mass Effect 2 uh, they, they were against because it was their natural state to be the collective is one. But then they get their hub destroyed so easily and they're like, oh my God, we're going to get wiped out if we don't become independent platforms. Um, and so Legion... Uh, installs the Reaper code, that spark allows them to become what I considered unshackled AIs because I, I see the Geth as uh, advanced AI. Um, and then I saw that post Reaper code there, they become unshackled AI. Um, they, they can still communicate into the consensus, but that communication into the consensus, the consensus doesn't then say all the guests have to do it this way, but the consensus informs all the guests, but the guests still have these independent lives. They're independent platforms that they can, they can do whatever they want. They can take their own inputs. They can, they can have their own life. They can decide not to ever agree with, they could become heretics and it's, it, but they don't, they don't feel like they have to then they just become independent. Just the same way as like organic life think independently and we hate each other and so, you know what I mean? Um, we create conflict where conflict doesn't need to be or we force people to go in directions we don't want them to go into or believe things that they don't believe. So that's essentially what the Geth become. They become more like living things. They they let go of their natural state to become something different. Um, whether that was, I feel like that shouldn't have been the direction in the writing. I, personally, I felt like that the sci-fi-ness of the Geth being, you know, that they were all one mind moving kind of in unison because they were networking all of these ideas like constantly. And so, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. And so the idea of the, I'm ranting on and I'm jumping between ideas and I don't even know if I finished the ones that I've started because I'm trying to get back to where I was trying to get to. But the, let me give me, give me a second. Let me catch up my thoughts here. I think it has something to do with the, the, that the crucible did something to the catalyst where I, I feel, oh, so the idea here is that there's a parallel in a narrative, again, given the thought, because I am I always try to find parallels in, in things when I don't understand them because, you know, a good story uses parallelism because parallelism as a device is meant to subconsciously uh, enforce ideas that then help you understand later ideas. And that's why I try to do it because I, I feel like it does help me understand the, the act three of a story because that's when you know writers will put these things together the catalyst here gets the crucible the crucible is this extra power source huge energy source and it's changed now it's changed enough to go i'm going to bring shepherd up here because shepherd's going to make the decision do you see the parallelism because if it was unintentional then i i just i feel i find these things very difficult to believe that they're unintentional and if someone else has written out uh, uh, stuff out there i would love to see how someone else put this stuff together i would love to see other videos of people putting this together if they haven't then you'll, you'll hear me putting it together from again a story construct i thought a lot about story construction over a lot of years and and so the parallelism here is Shepard again becomes the loophole and the catalyst knows that bringing Shepard up here and says no Shepard, you make the decision because I can't make the decision. You know why? Because it's an AI. It's an AI with a ceiling. Just like the Geth were AIs with a ceiling. Their ceiling was that they could not conflict with the consensus. That was the programming. They couldn't do it. And so they had to find a loophole in order to make that thing happen, in order to create a, the cat their catalyst, in order to make that event happen. And then of course, that my understanding is that then Legion, because Legion was composed of more runtimes, like he was basically like, like his own hub so he can kind of go wherever he wants and um and and, and and communicate with sentient beings as i understood it and so and so legion was then taking in inputs from all these other cultures that he he got to deal with during his time with shepherd and the crew of the normandy and and so all of that was uh informing his 
run times. And so when his run times reconnect with the consensus, he's like, this is what all these other races are, are doing. This is how they behave. This is how their politics work. Here's how the, the cultures work. Here's how they, you know what I mean? And so all of a sudden the Geth are getting uh, uninfected, but the Geth are getting informed by all the races of the galaxy and how they, you imagine like the Geth have become like this, this super sponge of just like what's the best way to do things and we're not just looking at the best geth way to do things we're looking at the best way that is the best for like holistically what works the best for all these other cultures and why and like the super algorithm is now informing the geth with non-geth ideas and so that's i think what makes legion go reaper code i'm sorry i lied to you but i'm gonna do this it's the it's the best conclusion to the algorithm that's how i kind of see it and so he sets it off and he gives his life up to do it parallelism the same way that in the synergy the same way that in the synthesis version shepherd has to give up his life so that his essence can then rewrite the entire galaxy just the same way that legion's essence re rewrites the entire geth uh runtimes Parallelism. If the more you look at parallelism, parallelism, the more you kind of see how, how story that story found like the guts of something come together. And I could still be wrong. Uh, these are just my opinions. But there you go. Uh, I want details. Exactly Let's see what else I can happen. trigger here. Oh, I still have to talk to the kid. Wait. To be just intact. wait. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. This is crap. Yeah, well. There will still be losses. Because, like, what technology? No you guys have already told me, like, we lose ED, lost. we lose the Geth. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, people can still recreate the Geth, though. This is how my. Uh, well. You wouldn't have this sort of. The spark wouldn't come from the same source, because theoretically, the catalyst is what was that spark, but. Anyways, I'm sure that maybe they could. Anyways, uh, will it end the war? But it the will papers end will be destroyed. Yes. Like, what are you? But the peace won't last. Soon, right. Your children will create synthetics. Okay, and so then he's the confirming chaos it. Will come back. Right. There well, no, that's your way. that's your assessment because you're there you're uh, you got you're an AI with a ceiling. You could instead use the energy. You don't understand. To seize control of the reapers. That if you just give things time to evolve, they will counterbalance to find harmony. I'll talk about this in a sec, too, if I can remember. Hold on. If I don't do it now, though, I'm going to forget what I was going to say. So. I'm good to go. The elusive man was right after all. Yeah, that's yes, kind of shitty. Yes, but he could never out. have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can't. So here's the thing. So release die. control. You control us, but you assholes. You know what I mean? Like, just release control and let this man, like, do what he had to do. Like, why do you have to keep control of something? I just, that one just made me angry. And I just, because it's the first time I thought of it. Why do you have to keep control after you indoctrinate something, uh, uh, an, or, an organism? Why do you have to keep control? Stop controlling. Decide. Choose. Choose. You know, like, like a higher life form. Choose to not control. And let these things go. Let them be what they gotta be for themselves. What was it? See what I was. I was gonna say something else. I was be, now this thing. Fuck. Hold on. What was I gonna say? I knew it. I knew it. It's gone. It's gone. It's completely gone. If anything, it was gonna be like they create the. No, I don't know. It's gone. <laughs> like they create the synthetics, and the synthetics will uh, un, no will un inevitably turn on them. Well, no, probably not. Be oh, that's what it was. Okay, because just the same way. Like think about this from another perspective parallelism again think about the parallels parallelism in the narrative you had you had the rachni that were a problem the rachni started to overwhelm a certain part of the galaxy and the counter to find harmony was here's this planet of crazy mofos and they breathe like some bitches and so let's ad let's advance them like faster let's give them this technology let's spike them and then they'll develop this this you know this galactic force and then we dump them on the rachni you have the krogans the cro and the krogans wipe out the rachni and then uh oh now the krogans are out of control they're overpowered they can breathe faster they're gonna they're they they're hungry for more planets they're aggressive and now we have to sort of we have to stall this or it's going to put the galactic harmony at risk so what do you do? You create the genophage. The genophage goes off. 
Krogan population under control, and then you start a, you start to find the harmony. And then we get to this point where it's like, of course, well now they don't want that in place. That's fine. You can fix those things when things are harmonious, and you can start to have uh, discussions. And you know, uh, maybe it gets to the point where the Genophage is, oh my God, it could be killing off the Krogan, and then there'll be enough. And you create your allies or people come together and they go, well, we don't, we can't let this happen. We can't let the Krogans die off. And so people would come together and they would release a cure to the Genophage. And then the Krogan would repopulate. And maybe they go out of control, but maybe they don't. Maybe they've learned, they've learned they shouldn't. And because the forces will align against them and they'll, they, things can always get squashed. Just like the Geth. The, so the Geth, like they get, uh, the whole thing with the Geth and the Quarians happen. Uh, ultimately, the galaxy could have come together, and then the galaxy together could have gone up against the Geth. Honestly, they wouldn't have been that hard to take out. Let's be clear, they would not have been. They would have been hunted down, their server clusters would have been destroyed, and that would have been thousands of Geth runtime destroyed every single time with every perfect like assault. And eventually, they'd get stupider. See, there's the trick. They'd get dumber, and then they'd become just platforms with like VI-esque intelligence. And then they get taken out. And they're gone. And then problem solved. Like, so there's always a way for just give the galaxy time. And it'll find its own balance is the kind of proposition I'm putting out there. This whole cycle, this whole Leviathan gamble here is is the source of everything that's gone wrong with this this universe has been some some foolhardy organism thinking uh thinking that they could build a synthetic program to to do work for that they were too lazy to do themselves <laughs> how can i control the reapers if i'm Keep dead going. your corporeal form it's been a long episode dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue so you become a machine your so there's i thought about this one too will be lost though you will remain aware of their existence. You become a god machine. You essentially replace the catalyst. Essentially. So, in that sort of narrative, it's like, do you want to become... You're fighting for organic life to survive, um, but you're going to end up becoming a machine to do it. So the very thing you were up against, the irony of it, you have to become the thing that you are trying to stop from having control over organic life. You have to become... The program and then does that mean you have the limitations and the ceiling of the program because what if like a million years from now like this these galactic societies they play by completely different rules of just how they evolve and grow and explore and breed like we don't know but you know a million years from now it could be entirely different how is the shepherd ai going to even comprehend that uh, yes, it can keep watch and it can keep like doing and it can use the reapers to kind of scout and understand how things are doing Maybe it approaches things differently and it's always it's just knowledge harvesting so that it can help make these decisions It can use the reapers as a sort of galactic uh, uh, Space cop force that goes around and like, like prevents things from escalating out of control, but it still comes down to it being from a very human centric uh, perspective of what is right and wrong Is that right? I, I don't know, and that's why all of these decisions are sketch. But the Reapers will obey me. Yes. You just have to come to terms we with what it is you're choosing and, and be okay with it. And that's fit. maybe the criticism of this ending is that it's, none of them really work. I'm sorry, they they work in so far as Synthesis. you tell the story you want to tell, and, and are you happy with the story that you got? And if you're not, do what I did. I created a post-game narrative. For what happens to Shepard after he jumps into the beam. Life That's fine. Into a new framework. I'll share that sometime. DNA. Uh, let's Explain see if I can figure it out. Explain this to, to me again. Crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what exactly? Parallelism. The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. Mm -hmm. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach. Synthesis. Now that we know it's possible, you do it sooner. Okay, 
Now, we have wait, tried we have tried a similar, a similar solution solution that would have been Saren. But That's it my has always failed. Why? Well, always failed means because multiple the organics times. Because are not ready. It is not something that can be forced. forced. That would have been you the indoctrination ready, and the husks. And That's it. how I read those sentences. I believe Saren was their best attempt at, th at it because it does make sense. Saren starts to become more of a robot and before I didn't understand anything in Mass Effect 1 to, to understand like I couldn't put that stuff together I didn't have all the pieces but he kind of gets he kind of gets he becomes more geth like he doesn't just he doesn't just be, he doesn't become a he doesn't become a husk he doesn't become a marauder he becomes more geth -like. he's he, I believe that's how I believe I remember his look he has cyber he becomes more cybernetic he gets cybernetically enhanced it's almost like he's searching for a way to become an organic synth and uh, an organic synthetic and whether he was doing it to himself or he had reaper help to bond to like graft like get pieces to himself or whatever the hell he was doing but i remember i, re I distinctly remember him being like half geth is my visual memory and my i believe that that was the catalyst having a hand or the you know via the reapers via via sovereign having a hand in trying to create that synthesis in saren because saren could have been Saren could have been the coyote, could have been the loophole for the catalyst at the time. Tried it, didn't work. Uh, centuries before that, they did the indoctrination leading to husks or the huskification of things. That was them trying to turn organics into synthetics, and it didn't work because the organics weren't ready. Because the organics weren't ready. That's like they were forcing it onto that. They didn't want it. They didn't want it. That's the reality is that you can't force it. So, um,. The application was stuck in that loop because it kept trying the same thing. And you know what they say? You know what they say when you try the same thing over and over again? It's the definition of madness, folks. You do the same thing over and over again and it continues to fail. It's because you're crazy. If you, you keep doing the same thing, it's your, it is a crazy application. The catalyst is crazy. <laughs> I it's a crazy application. Know. It's insane. Why not? Synthetics are already it just talks started. all normal, Can you like it's just your life extreme intelligence. Them? It's not. And there will be peace. The cycle Hold on, will let me talk about what the I The reapers think. will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution all of all us. life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. Yeah, they can do whatever they want after they they synthesize and then all of those cultures still they can still develop unique cultures I, yeah they kind of all understand each other because they're all in synthesis but they can all still have their own cultures into the future they can go as far as they want they can create their own wars again they can they can do whatever they want it might also mean that things like i was thinking about that, like joker and edies can have babies because they can literally they can just make a baby like they can make a baby literally literally think about the other parallelism in this in this game you have the cloning technology that came up cloning technology came up with the miranda miranda's sister with coyote because the dlc showed us that the idea that you can reconstitute bodies from the from from like little amounts of DNA and you can reconstitute an entire body and then you can you can reboot a mind using in my in my canon lore they definitely injected it with some sort of like AI like triggered like so so the idea there being uh, synthetics I always say synthetics the, uh, the, the synthesis beings could literally create half they could they, it be like a mix of cloning technology and building like just just uh, platform building platform building with cloning mixed in and you get your hybrids and then anything can sort of have bait like having babies gets redefined in this new world in the synthesis world okay so I think someone said if I start walking there's a timer that will go off and that timer matters uh, I didn't somehow I talked forever and I didn't die that way but anyways the kid let's talk about the kid real quick because I might just speak I have to go through this. I'm not going through all this again when I get to the other two options but uh, the kid Thinking it, oh, so I was trying to think of it. I gotta calm down. Get too excited. I was thinking about things from a story perspective. In Mass Effect 3, we have that because uh, uh, I, I have these things called mirror scenes. So the game starts with this kid that you can't save, and then the kid goes to the shuttle. Shuttle blows up, and then you're kind of you kind of you have the weight of that loss um, with you throughout the entire Mass Effect 3. You, you have a couple 
uh, dreams slash nightmares uh, where this kid is running away and kind of like drawing Coyote through this dreamscape uh, to remember these events, uh, people he lost along the way, he or she lost along the way, depending on Shepard. And then you have this event where this thing says wake up. And so uh, from a story perspective, I, I, I couldn't see it as not being connected. Uh, I would have to go back and see how that opening happens, but I believe, and it's weird, I'm going to say something that's weird, because I don't know if I said it in the video when I was watching it, but I had a very, um, I had a very sixth sense feeling uh, with the opening of Mass Effect 3, and then because the vent thing happens, and then it's like no one else sees the kid, and I had a very sixth sense feeling about that, it's like maybe this kid isn't actually there, he's just like hallucinating, uh, Coyote's like think like he's just regretting stuff, and maybe he's like, he's he's manifested this idea of this kid he's gonna lose and part of me was like is this kid him like uh is this kid a female if you play a female chef like that kind of thing was going through my head um and, and it was it was him like think like thinking about like his whole life has come to this and it was personified by the kid anyways so it gets to hear kid says wake up and to me i was like you know thinking back at it i was like i think that that first kid I, I'm going to make it headcanon that that first kid was a projection by the Catalyst to Shepard. The Catalyst at that point already knew that Shepard had the makeup to be the loophole. To be the loophole. And so it's like, it, it's already kind of half-half. It's an organic that brought back from nothing. And again, my headcanon makes this work. And it's got... Um, you know, nano machines that hold it together, cybernetics that hold this body together, and, and possibly AI component that, that keeps the brain functioning, uh, even though it, it had to have been deteriorated somewhat in that it was like damaged, right? Um, and so it, it knew that it had it had the essence to be the loophole it needed, and so it was already drawing out. And and the part of me feels like maybe this kid was doing the same to Saren, and and this kid was trying to make Saren believe via via Sovereign that Saren was the one and you know maybe it was draw it was like talking to the elusive man to a certain degree and I thought the elusive man could have been the one but of course then the elusive man starts doing a bunch of other crazy crap and maybe he escalates something to a point where I don't know the indoctrination thing happens and outside of the crucible the catalyst control I don't know I don't can't, can't figure that one out but the point is he went too far and then then he wasn't the right one and so uh I feel like this 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 catalyst has been there for the entire game has been trying to uh trying to see like scoping out to see if Shepard was the one that was going to finally do it now you guys said there's a if i shoot this kid right now so be it what was that voice that was a the cycle continues that was the harbinger voice so you guys said i think it was you told me the voice and i forget it but i think that was a reaper Harbinger. oh i thought the game would just go game over but no you just reject it. You reject making a decision. And you're basically saying, let whatever happen, and then let the new cycle begin, where, oh, this actually has an ending too, though? <gasps> oh, I thought it was gonna do If you're hearing this, then there is still hope. Oh, right. Oh, you guys did mention there was a thing with Liara's voice. Oh. Hope. That you okay, can avoid the same mistakes we made. Comments. We fought the Reapers, <gasps> oh, but cool. we failed to stop them. She becomes a new Prothean? We did everything we could. We built the Crucible, but it didn't work. We fought as a united galaxy, but it wasn't enough. I only hope the information in this capsule is enough to help you before it's too late. My name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. Herein lies the recounting of our war with the Reapers. Hopefully someone finds it. To be fair, that would have been a really morose ending. That would have like that would have been a hard like hard thing to swallow. But there's something sort of not poetic. Poetic isn't the right word <laughs> word here. Like having things end like that, it's kind of like well, they tried, and the story becomes about 
trying. You you try you fought right till the end. You just couldn't do it. As part of a bigger problem, and that that might have opened this game up to sequels, <laughs> sequels that would have been about this story all over again, but it would have been told in a whole different way. You know why? Because it would be fifty thousand years from now. It would have been. Oh my God! I don't got, okay, I didn't think I'd be talking. About, I thought this would have been the crappiest ending for me to choose. And then, man, I put the heater on in this space. Anyways, <laughs> can start to sweat here. Okay, where it would be a bunch of other races. And so imagine playing these other races, going through the same kind of pattern, the same cycle, and you're interacting with, let's say, uh, you know, whatever the evolved form would be of some Geth unit that survives, or I don't know, they, they merge into one super unit, like another legion, and, and you know, they get out, they hide, uh, or they, they manage to survive and not get destroyed in the white. And, you have things like this, Liara, like you have these videos that got recorded. Maybe Javik decides to not go off and end himself. Maybe he survives and Javik is still around. Or maybe a Javik VI, not VI, uh, um, well, that's a thing, but whatever. There's some Javik entity is around. Maybe it's also a video thing that you carry around with you and Javik becomes like your, your the, the, the one that's trying to move things along. Uh, part of me feels like and the import should bring in like whoever the shepherd was and then that shepherd could be this VI. they created the vi they created the vi on the citadel imagine that vi then gets uh enhanced with like liara takes that lead, a vi enhances it with the history of shepherd and that vi starts talking smart like it becomes an advanced vi or maybe it becomes an advanced ai you know and and it hides around and maybe oh my god i'm, I'm a fan fiction going nuts because all the pieces are there man Anyways, they could have made a sequel. I just hit my mic. Um, what else? What else can I say? I'm like brainstorming here, where it's like I feel like it would work. The the Krogan, the Krogan have long life. They'd be dead. They'd all be wiped out. They'd all be wiped out. So you'd be playing new races. Uh, maybe there's a race that kind of feels like it's a human, so that you still feel like you have that connection. So you can still play human esque character. It would be a human, so they'd be gone. Um, here's the thing I was thinking about last night. Man, what was it? I woke up this morning. No, I went to bed. It doesn't matter. Time is mashing up. Uh, I was thinking about like, imagine 50,000 years from now, you'd have like um, evolved Pijaks, and you'd have evolved Varens, and you'd have possibly an evolved uh, <laughs> Thresher Maw, and they'd be the new races. And like all these, cre there was like, there was the other one that was like kind of a gazelle thing with like multiple legs. I don't know how that would evolve, but anything, anything, I mean, because, um, because, um, Javik was talking about how I remember them when they were like tadpoles. Didn't he say that about the Salarians or something? And he he had comments like that about all the races being animal versions of them, or like did like these lower life form versions. So it's like anything we saw as like an animal in this game would all be like the the new the new uh, the new advanced sentient races. That would have been an amazing second sequel. That would have been an amazing sequel, and then you would have the. Uh, the Reapers will come back again because, of course, the cycle would start. Maybe the Catalyst will p play a bigger role because the Crucible now ex it knows the Crucible is out there and can be used again. But maybe it wants it to be used again. Maybe it wants a new it wants a new person to to kind of come and challenge it and become the possible next loophole. There you go, and you have your whole other trilogy. In front. Think, send the check in the mail, you know. And it's shit. Like, these ideas, like they they didn't have to kind of make it such an extreme ending where where you couldn't play on the ideas that they established. I think as soon as they throw out the whole dark energy part of things, uh, that was literally the only thing that was keeping the entire 50,000 year cycle in check. That would have made that would have made the entire setting work on the reboot cycle being a necessity. Um, remove that. Okay, well things can keep going now. You've given it three to four different ways where it can keep going. The story can continue in any of these uh, futures, in any of these uh, yeah, conditions. So, yeah, I don't know how they would have achieved that. They probably shouldn't have, they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have given you a scenario where <laughs> they'd create four different endings. Um, anyways, let's see if there's another, let's see what they say when they're, when the guy's talking with the kid. Let's see what that is. Let's just cut around to the, to that part. Did that all really happen? Oh, that's a We'll never know exactly what it was like, but yes, the archives tell the true story of those who came before us. They fought a terrible war, so we wouldn't have to. And that's why we have peace. <laughs> yes, 
Without everything they accomplished, without the information they passed down, we too would be threatened. What else do we know about the Shepherd? Just what we have in the archives. Oh, so fifty thousand years from but now, I've only told you that those races end up pulling it off with the Can crucible. Can you tell me another one, please? Whoever these are. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. That's um. Is that um, Samara? Samara's voice voice actress. Anyways, okay. Well, uh, the next culture ends up pulling it off. They could. That's a trilogy. They could use that as a trilogy. That's fine. They just do, 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 do a trilogy. Fifty thousand years from now, I want to see the evolved Pyjax and ferrets, and possibly question marks. That would be cool. Okay, let's. Uh, oh God, that took me an hour and fifteen minutes. I have to get through all of that just to hit the other two spots. <laughs> all right, for you guys. Come on, put him out of his misery. Help him, Shepard. Help him. Help. Help. In the crotch. 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 In, in the crotch. What am I fucking ten? Okay, okay. And waste this. Ooh, I got stuff to talk about. No. Welcome back. So I'm gonna to try to do the option where Maybe I do just so renegade all the way power. through, and then there's a renegade interrupt. I'm not gonna interrupt. But no. no, this just made me think of other stuff it's I haven't talked about yet. Simple. So Isn't the mind it? control, like what he's doing right there, right? Willing to give up the idea of mind control. Yes. Uh, I had. If not me, uh, then I think who? I talked about it. Are you going to control Oh my god, I literally can't remember if I There's talked about it in the last episode way. or if I've been commenting. I've dedicated about my it. life to understanding the. So many thoughts are just I know with mixing up in my head. The uh, will allow me to control. It's, a, it's when I talked about dark what? energy, wasn't it? That I that my idea with dark Look energy was that it was people. because it composes because the galaxy is composed of so much dark energy. My idea was that that was the space in which that space was being tapped into by these evolving forms so that they, they could do special things that I took we I uh, in the real world Made can't even conceive own. of so things like uh, manipulating the mass you. effect like that, that the, the idea of so manipulating the time space that's kind of like dark energy is a uh, uh, it defies you. time space that's and the big mystery of time of dark and energy and, and what you know is and dark matter for that matter and the and what if the idea in my head was that this energy was being tapped into. Things. Hold on, let's see if this is the one. Then open the arms. Let the crucible die. No, it's not yet. It to end this. The idea. Hopefully, you can hear me over top of that I, discussion. But I think I think you can. I anyway, will. so the uh, is that my, uh, biotics came I, from dark energy because no, I felt like that work. was a manipulation of time you space because it's the, it was the equivalent of just the they mass effect because it. it can do singularity. You can do it all right. You can do all that. No, it can defy gravity. All that stuff. So, and then from there, I was like thoughts and uh, this you know and then the no. idea of mind control no. uh in the hive mind the it got introduced so, a couple so different ways righteous. parallelism you think in this game like this comes easy hold on let's see there are sacrifices i'll continue in a second you sacrificed too much is this the one where Shepherd, i get to shoot i'm just gonna grab the gun i only wanted to protect okay humanity. keep going so uh the first time it got introduced control. to us was I the it. I believe the Rachni were really the first idea we had of like it's these things late. talk between this, like with the song across space, and this queen can kind of we'll control, uh, you know. I, well, some of them defected. Anyways, so the idea I is so that, that mind commander. control for me was like, okay, they are communicating can't. through the dark, and they're using dark they energy to communicate, and it's just part of their biology, their physiology, to be able to use dark energy you, as a communication you uh, resource. Everything I've well, accomplished. Here we, here we go. I won't let okay, that okay, okay. happen. Then you, let's see. Here we go. You're weak and you're selfish. I'm not. Because watch me get shot, and I got to do that. Suffer. Well, it wasn't so much of a beginning. No. I had to redo, but I, I saved humanity. Or does Anderson no. pull something off? You sacrificed us for your own selfish Please don't wants. Please replay. <laughs> you're left for control. It's fine. It's fine. No. I'll do it. No. I have to know. You were supposed to protect us, and you failed. Find the Paragon option though. No. Okay, I'm gonna put so if I put my I hand on my I'm afraid to put my hand on the mouse right now because I, I might like flexibly do it. Species. And and I'm afraid it is you who have failed. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, god damn. Okay, well, at least it wasn't all the way back. I just have to do the conversation with... Okay, I'll talk about my mind control stuff while we go. It's kind of like a XEI talks mixed in with just... I, I, I would do more of... Okay, okay, let me just get back up to focus. So, I'm trying to think about the parallel. Okay, so we had... The game basically gave us... Anderson. Gave us the rack knight. Let me let me start that over. So the mind control thing from a parallelism, from a story perspective and parallelism, is that they gave us the rack knight mind control. Um, regardless of what you think, how that was done, uh, it was sort of. Uh, I took the insinuation with like again the communication via the buoys, the fact that you have phone calls across the galaxy and they, you don't really lose a lot of time. That's literally the codex. I've always remember that because that was the foundation of the idea of mind control for me in the hard sci-fi universe where everything sort of had to make some sort of sense and if they were always using mass effect to make sense of everything in this game and for me i was taking it uh because i was connecting dark energy to the mass effect and so i was trying to expand on that um then we got ourselves the well fuck that i'm gonna go to the safe way <laughs> then we got different than controlling then we got the thorian uh, and the Thorian was another idea Cabinet of mind control and indoctrination being given when to us because we were aware of indoctrination mass, happening or the possibility of it. Uh, did they tell us it was indoctrination? They did, right? In Mass Effect 1. There were some who thought the relay should Was it be just destroyed. suggested? Because it was like they things were, were losing scared, control. I mean, fine. Saren was getting Terrifying indoctrinated. There was nothing else. Might let in. Things were getting indoctrinated. Oh my god. Anyways, that's a blur. Anyways, the point is, they get the Thorian. And the Thorian was Since using biological methods to essentially do indoctrination. They would, combined. you know, they absorb those Asari, and, the and then they would, oh my god, and then they would clone them. Again. So there's another cloning resource in this game. But it's a thing, there's the, I'll get into it, I'll get into it. I could create a, I could create like my version of this Only settings bible, like the, 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 the like if, if this were to be a setting, I, I would have a way, I think, to make all Let's of it make sense, we'll even if it wasn't us. the intention of the game. I can make and it make waste sense. this opportunity. I can do it. Uh, Never. Uh, okay. So the Thorian, You're because they could cl they could clone, then understand. they could they could connect. Uh, whether With whether it was through spores, whether it was however they did it, I they still managed to do some sort of you. like it was a plant at the end if of the day. It was a plant using a quote unquote mind, whatever its version, because physiological version of a mind was, we're not to ready. make other beings do things no. for it. This is the way. That's per must so. Evolve. Dark energy. <laughs> The point That's being obvious. is that physiology in my mind, away. same thing as the rack guy, it was just a different form of it, and they were able to do and the I same thing. The Geth, of course, were given to us in Mass Effect 1, and that was control. the a technology version <laughs> of the same concept, which is these things were Look communicating the with each other, the these multiple platforms Look were networking, the and they were sharing they were communicating packets so that they could... Uh, so that they could become, they were becoming smarter uh, and more tactically efficient because they were getting more intelligent. The more gets you. that network with each other. And, oh, there's the Don't Leviathans. The Leviathans gave and us the orbs, and with those orbs, they were able to uh, watch Only the galaxy the world develop the around them. They were able to keep. They were able to keep and what if a old? pulse on things, but they could watch things from, through great distances. And again, dark energy because it defies time space and uh, basically those orbs were sending information through this dark energy back to the leviathans their physiology was able to then make an uh, understand that they were obviously able to communicate underwater via uh, to uh shepherd via mind mind but we via, via telepathy Reapers, and today. so they were they had a, they were able to do that somehow and so the hard sci-fi rule is that you have to make you, you to have to you have to embed it in something that so, so makes no, pseudo sense it it, within work. the the you framework the scientific framework that the setting they is granting you. It. You got to make sense of it somehow. No, and for I'm me, it's those no one is that me particular component of the story you couldn't explain with Mass Effect, but you could explain Mass Effect no. with Dark Energy. No. And so for me, the I was trying to go backwards and find out. You can't go any more backwards than Dark Energy. Do you energy, think so. power like this comes easy? Okay. There are so, sacrifices. I don't remember an interrupt here, for the, but I better much. pay attention so I don't have to do this Shepard, again. I, I only wanted oh, he's to still protect got a rant humanity. on. Can I? I can't. I can't. The can control I shouldn't even I know it cut around this I thing. Just, you know what? When else am I going to share these thoughts? You know what I mean? It's not too late. What else can I talk about? I mean, I talked about go. From a setting perspective, that's what I would do with mind control. What else is there? I feel you know what I'm just gonna put it up. feel that, free to throw man. questions down in these comments comment with whatever you want about these endings and like what I've experienced here and like like normally but if you want you, uh, I'm gonna just put it out there you'd undo I'll put it out there like put anything you want me to try to 
Anything you want me to try to kind of think because about and break down in the way the way I understand things, because uh, I'm probably going to have to write this down because I'm compulsive true. like that. Uh, I will they create my own Bible of this down. thing. Maybe I'll share it. Maybe I'll put a, I'll eventually have a drop other. like Dropbox Instead link or Google Share Drive or something. You know, I, I I'll just put it out there for you guys. You've um, done exactly what the Reapers wanted. If you're still doing it because they just in case someone's you. running a tabletop campaign, for example, I they could use whatever I come up with as their foundation. If it, if they enjoy it better, if they want to have something Don't more firm win. about how things work, I want to get to that point. I want to get this to that point. You. So if you guys have questions, you want me to think about things, try to connect things in a different way, throw them I in the comments tried. and let's have that conversation and figure that out. The, you know, there's no interrupt here, he interrupts himself. That's a good way to go for him, though, because, you know. Because, again, he might have been on the right course. I, I There was part of Mass Effect 2 where I was like, I would have aligned. I was legitimately aligning with the Elusive Man as Coyote. I was legit. I was legitimately, from an RP story perspective, there was a time, probably in the Act 2 part, where I was like, no, nah, he I, mean, I get it from the player perspective. I knew it was going to turn on me, right? But, I mean, from the character perspective, I'm like, nope, he's... He probably would side with this as much as he'd side with Arya. He's like, no, this guy's on the right track here. But there's always that warning of like, there's always a threshold. If you go past that threshold, then you've got like, yeah, going too far is a very, very real, like, that's just as bad. Said, everyone, the alarms are opening. Anyways, uh... And part of me in Act 2 for Mass Effect 2 would have been Coyote going, I could do better. Like, I could, he was still at the point, like, pre really getting on on the idea of Jack. He, he was prop, like, and what she represented to him and having him have become more introspective about what's, what's life worth living for. And I, once I went down that angle, I was like, well, this is going to be more about, you know, trying to change course for the last half of the trilogy. That's it. The Crucible is docked. Could have been the other way though. I could have like got if there was no Jack, I suspect he would have stayed single for Mass Effect Two. I uh, would have let Mass Effect Three decide if something happened uh, from the relationship perspective. Um, I'm trying to think who was an option in Mass Effect Three that I would have gone for though. I don't want him gone for anybody. It literally it's Commander? Jack. Jack was the only option. We did it. That was the only. If that Jack didn't exist, I would have gone single. I would have done. Yes, I would probably ended up playing truer to the core Coyote yes. concept, and I would have gone Why control. You... So maybe I'll do control last because that's the one I feel like. Best that's the one the I feel house. like would be an alternative, like canon. Of God, it'd be like a, if it was a multiple universe where Jack Feels didn't like exist. Years since I just how would sat down. Theoretically, I could reload I Mass Effect rest. 2 with Mass Effect Anderson. 1 Coyote. Mm. I could replay Mass mm. Effect 2 as Coyote. Stay with me. We're almost through this. And I could let Jack go haywire. Because then it would show him who he would you have been as, like, as an uncontrolled weapon. To, like, get what, get what he needs to get. And he would never have ended up with Jack. Thank you, sir. Because he would never have seen she had a vulnerable side that he could, he could try to you know get at so that he could sort of you know help himself out they could help each other it was kind of where that turned and then he'd get into mass effect 3 and then i would have been more soldier i would have been more like commander results and uh he would have wanted to, to replace the elusive man he probably would have wanted he could have he would have had in his head that he could have been a better elusive man and he'd work with Liara to give himself the power to get there. It's he'd form a stronger alliance with Arya, headcanon, fanfic again, to suggest that he was going to he was going to make it, Shepard. and she wanted him on his side, sort of thing. I don't see. And then they'd I'm rewrite sure the universe <clears throat> together. <laughs> well, he'd be a friggin' machine mind at that point. Commander. God, is that I have to go through all of this just to see two more endings? Oof. Guys, guys, <laughs> I guess I said a lot. This is me. I mean, I'm gonna let this episode be as long as it's gonna be. I'm not gonna break it apart. So, you guys got to sit through. Uh, before this is done, it's probably gonna be close to two hours. Even if I cut around stuff, it's gonna be close to two hours. I should stop talking though. Let's get through. Let's get through this part without me talking. Let me get through this next part.
without, without, I'm not talking with anybody, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I need to shut the fuck up. Let's get to the freaking choices. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. I'm sorry, I have to cut back in. The Leviathans create this solution. AI for their solution. To what? The solution creates the Reapers for Chaos. its solution. The Reapers. The created will form always rebel against their husks. creators. For, I don't know. But we found a way to stop. Without a future, we have no hope. We might as well be machines. Without hope. Programmed to do what we're told. Might as well be machines. You have hope. More than you think. The fact oh, he changed that line. Because I didn't choose any of the options. So you have more choice than you think. But no. it also proves my no, solution four choices. won't work anymore. I have four choices. So now what? Not more choices than I think. I have four we choices. Found a new solution. You have altered the variables. You have altered what the variables. Mean? By the way, that's how an application thinks. The crucible changed me. Because crucible, could, new I'm the variable. I'm that loophole. But I can't make them happen. The possibilities. If there is to be a new solution, I don't know what the new possibilities are that it created. These three new. It uh, is now in your power to I think the new possibility us. is these two things. It never created the op it never created the options for destroy or control. But be warned, others But it always will had well. it always has synthesis because it's in the middle. The, it, it, the synthesis options in the center. It is the crucible. That's what I feel like. The middle is the Even option they. Even you are partly synthetic. Uh, oh, what happens? Oh my God! Don't let's make it this up. far. Let's see what happens. We'll destroy you without setting it off. Impossible. You are vastly outnumbered. You have sacrificed many of your resources just to reach this point. If you do not use the Crucible, the Reapers will not be stopped, and the cycle will continue. I don't believe you. Your belief is not required. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. Well, let's reject this one. Let's see how he gets all defensive. <laughs> Stupid AI. <laughs> I reject everything about the catalyst. The I reject was right after everything all. about. Yes, but he could never have taken control because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us. You guys brought you up it. There's an indoctrination have. theory out there. I haven't read it yet. I gave my thoughts on it. I think it's impossible. Um, and I feel like that line right there uh, does sort of confirm that it's not possible because if the elusive man was indoctrinated and he couldn't control, but now I can control, well, that's kind of like the. That's. I think the game said. Like, I don't know how that dark. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it came up. I don't know how it. I guess I can see how maybe. Well, it kind of taps into the idea I put out there where I thought maybe this entire thing was a simulation. Yeah, but that's not the same thing as I'm indoctrinated. Although indoctrinated people do sort of see things differently. But no, I don't think that's it. Uh, I don't think it's possible. I think there's more belief that this entire thing is a simulation that someone's like someone's playing a game. Okay, <laughs> none of this is real. Okay, that's more. Uh, I believe that more than uh, than Shepard being indoctrinated, and I think that, I do think that that sort of says that's not the case. It can't be the case because now you have a choice, unless they're tricking you because you're indoctrinated. I didn't fight this war so now I could give up everything here. I have. And I do not look forward to being replaced by you, but okay. So that was my I would be assumption. To accept it. But that is what, what it if is. I refuse to do it. Would replace Shepard would there be the new catalyst. Solution. Mm hmm I was speculating there in that synthesis. It's cool to have that confirmation though. And that is moving on. Add your energy to the crucibles. Yeah, that's the crucibles energy. That feels the like chain that's reaction the only option will that should combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. You're asking me to change everything. What happens if I say I won't make it? Do they remove it? Or is I can't make that decision. I won't. Why not? That, so I don't care Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? This is giving me context, That's like affirmation. It's affirming a lot of the thoughts your that I was, time I don't is know, creating. Like, you must stuff. decide. Like I was creating, a, I was building on something here based on just you know my ideas. Of but this is confirming a lot of the stuff I was assuming. What happens if I reject right now? 
I don't want to have to do this over again, man. No. But I need to know. I'm going to end this war on my terms. Oh, no. Then you will die knowing that you failed to save everything you fought for. Fuck it, let's just do it. I fight for freedom. Mine and everyone's. I fight for the right to choose our own fate. That's... And if I die, I'll die knowing that I did himself. everything I could to stop you. Is there a fifth option? And I'll die free. So be it. Ah. Oh. Oh no, cancel, 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 the cancel. Cycle ca continues. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta do this again. <laughs> oh, oh. Is that new? Oh, all for that scene right there. Did I get that last time? Did I just. Was I. Shot the kid. Oh god. Is there a fifth option? Come on, I just experienced this. You're telling me I forgot how this scene played out the first time I experienced it. Is that I felt like it just ended. Or maybe I was like in shock or something. I don't know. Ah oh, damn. Let's just make let's see if this if is... you're hearing this. Okay. Damn it. There is still All hope. right, let's do it again. It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own me now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. You're not yourself anymore. We've taken you. Now, you're the one who failed. Oh my god, that was... I'm not, I, I don't want to redo this. Whoa. I'm, bu I, I'm, I'm busy bagging and boarding comics. And so I'm going to watch that. And I don't even have headsets on. I have no idea what happened. But I just realized... I, I accidentally, I didn't click on the Paragon option. I ended up clicking on the gray option beside the Paragon option. And I triggered that. So there's a couple different ways that could have gone. You have to select all the Paragon options for him to finally turn the gun on himself. There. Oh God! Now part of me is like, well, what happens if you don't interrupt? I wish you could. You don't interrupt him, Anderson. and then he it's... does he shoot Anderson, and then you don't have that final scene with Anderson. Oh, I can't do this again just to find that out. You can let me know, or I can find out on. Uh, YouTube sometime. Shoot. Anyways, let's keep going. We got a choice to make here. I think I want to do control last because like I said, I think that's going to be like the canon ending. So the, the alternate canon ending. I don't think the coyote would ever choose destroy at this point. If he didn't have a... I don't think he would. You know, I mean, from a story perspective, it makes no... If you gave any shit about the geth, about the Corian geth, stuff i'm not even gonna bring Edie into this although it'd, be, it'd suck to lose one character you can sort of swallow that for you to lose an ent the entire geth if you got if you did this playthrough where you gave a shit about making sure that all went right not even about legion legion is also just one character if you didn't give a shit about him that's also that or if you did but it's just one and it wouldn't affect the geth that's also just one thing but the entire Geth, after you helped that whole thing become what it became, for them to get that heightened consciousness, so that they could have their own, their, uh, the, like individual Geth autonomy, like you helped bring that all about, and then you're going to destroy them all. Like it doesn't make any sense. I guess I just walk up to it. So yeah, I don't think the story does not allow for it. The story does not allow for me to accept it. Oh, you shoot it. Okay, let's do with this guy. Although, I, I mean, there could be a playthrough. But I'm, my second playthrough is not going to give a damn shit. Yeah, they're gone. So this, I'm kind of spoiling the next the replay, but... Okay, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun thing for us to do. Yeah, oh, interesting. So there's your... Because these are people that have died. Wait, who was in the... Should I, should I die? 
Okay, so it's not people that died, it's just your memories flashing, flashing before your eyes. All fleets, the crucible is armed. Well, disengage and so head to the rendezvous point. Be red thing. Everything's gonna be like red themed or something. I repeat, disengage and get the hell out of here. So it's all the same, right? Look, I know. But we have to. Oh, you guys already kinda of told me that. Damn it. It included Edie. So Edie's gone. So, like, it, it, you know, I took that in the, when it happened the first time. I took that as, like, he he's really want, he wants to save Shepard. He wants to do whatever he can and wait. I don't know what he's... But acknowledging the fact that there's not time. You're not waiting for nothing. You got to go. It was him kind of abandoning Shepard for the last time. But that right there could have been that he lost to Edie. Could have been interpreted. I like the red... Wait, that looks like red though. Okay, so here we go. With, this just destroys all these guys now. Boom. Boom. Oh, how does this change? Does it? Oh, it had to change because they all, on the green, they all get, they kind of go neutral because they, they get uh, synthesized. at all that was purely oh cool so we're about to meet their, their ends and then could you imagine the technology you're gonna harvest out of those sons of bitch we're gonna turn the harvest around organic's gonna okay so no there was this scene oh no it's different right there yeah because now they don't, they don't have the power of the the reapers to kind of disorient everything so now that you can just like sh take it Oh no, they're gonna get wiped. Okay, because they would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. It's all technology. It's... Are they gonna show the Gath getting wiped? Because that would suck to see. Because you guys told me, but do you see it? That's all two different things. I didn't see Edie go. Edie's not dead. She's different. So they, so so that was a lot of people just died on the Citadel, by the way. A lot of people just died on the Citadel. Right. If that. Okay. If the Mass Effects. If the Mass Effects go, that just stranded a lot of people. I don't think they go, right? Mass Effects, they can be repaired, is I think what the, the, the catalyst says. Oh, that's a cool one. It feels way more victorious. <laughs> Green was good, too. They, these scenes happened, too, but it was, a little, it was different. Seeing them all kind of, like... It's like the, that they all that the alliance matters to ever to all these guys, you know. That it, I want to believe that was what's his name that we abandoned in the uh, <laughs> junk or whatever. No, we just left him there. The guy who was come on. Oh, that last. Well, they can't help us. Oh, it would be cool to see her on the passage. She just goes through. Nope. Okay, then. Do I have to sit? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because... But if they destroy the Citadel, which is the Crucible, 50,000 years from now, when the AIs get intelligence, if the, cru if the Catalyst is right, which I believe in my theory is that no, they would find a way to harmonize and find, they'd find a way to neutralize the threats, uh, come together and blah, 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 and the Castle would evolve properly. 
Joker and EA came out. So, no, no ED. So that's, 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 is that what suggests ED is gone then? Let's find out. I mean, what was I saying? I was saying something there. Oh, he, did he come out last time? I don't remember. Say something about the heart. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why they chose him to come out on this ending, but does that change based on choices and stuff like that? Or do you have the DLC so he gets chosen or something? God, I just triggered that when I was talking about it and I just forgot it again. Wrong with me. It's talking about har harmonizing. For the galaxy would harmonize. Oh, so 50,000 years from now, they've destroyed the Citadel. Oh. done yet so how do they make the cattle like how do they make that how do they defend the war themselves? is over oh there's no reapers the reapers have been defeated so, a okay Just talking right now. against all odds and in the face of the greatest <sighs> they threat, do destroy them they just stranded we survived how did you survive how are you going to get home the mass effects are destroyed the relays are severely damaged but we they're won. destroyed they're not damaged you weren't getting home through that real. These guys are gonna be trapped. You know, light years means this like these guys are stuck. To each of us. Man, every man, woman, I'm and talking child. years. They're gonna take. They might die. Every civilization. They better be every world. They teach them how to like. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you get to be alone now, Jack. Teacher. Samara. Yeah. Sue me. Oh, did she take my head? Uh, Fred! I guess they're tired. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring like what we together. lost, we must plan. remember what it took to win. They still breathe like crazy. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army. Or even a single species. Rebuilding. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long Oof. enough to stop something as powerful a lot of as the died, Reapers, man. imagine How do you what we this? can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time. If I recall correctly, the Protheans. But we can rebuild was everything that was the destroyed. So Leviathan times, because it was the our homes, our worlds, crazy. our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Oh, Together, we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. The Citadel, and it's hovering over Earth, so. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. Mm -hmm. You guys tell me that something happens at the end where Shepard doesn't die. Which is just an odd... It's odd that they would make it... Oh, Edie's name's on the board. Hmm. Alright, so they confirm it. Oh, he hugs ED after. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. those who died to give us that future. I 
I wish they had an option where you survived any of the three choices based on other choices you made through the game. I wish they made it dynamic like that and not just absolute. Because I don't feel like you're in the middle of an explosion and that's the one that survives. So the sacrifice was all of the Geth and Edie. That tell, I mean, that just reinforces my uh, fan theory for post-game synthesis. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, Shepard can't die. He can't. He can't die. I don't know if I should. I should I'm gonna talk about I'll talk over another set of credits. Oh, we got to get to the end of this to see what the kids say. Okay, I'm just gonna sit through this. I'm not gonna talk. It's getting long enough. Like, this is really long. I'm gonna cut around it. But that's the thing. If I don't talk now, I'm gonna want to say the stuff I have to say. I could might as well just do it all in this rant be a super bonus video and I'll just talk about what my what my alt ending my not my alt my post my post game ending for synthesis because I want to do the control one and I'm probably gonna to want to talk about the control one because of what that shows because I feel like that could be the alternate world ending for coyote in Mass Effect so I'm gonna talk a bit about I haven't really formulated these thoughts but I know I have enough thoughts I have enough uh, I have enough components to make this fan fiction work for synthesis. I'll find out about control because they, they said something about you have to, you give yourself up, you become essentially a machine, right? You become a machine. That one's whatever, I'll figure that one out when I, anyways. So my idea here is I talked a little bit about how the, the game world already gave us a couple options for how you, you can bring someone back. So we got the elusive man bringing back Shepard from nothing except a brain, a sort of intact brain with a possible brain stem and pulp, pulp, blood and maybe some skin and maybe some, you know. So, and then he was able to remanufacture the body from that. Okay, we got that. We have uh, Dr. Lawson. We have the father who really high, you know, uh, renowned, uh, I guess DNA, DNA, not splicer, he's not a splicer, a DNA, like, man, like, DNA manufacturing of human bot, like, with D just DNA, his own DNA, he was able to make daughters, um, so that gives you another, because, like, okay, what did he use as the base material, he probably just used, you know, whatever the base makeup of stem cells were, and then, with his DNA, he was able to manufacture the embryo that then developed into the, the you know, the, the loss of sisters. So we have that. We have the Thorian that was able to clone using some sort of, some sort of alien physiology. And that cloning happened fairly rapidly as far as I recall. Like, um, they did break down, if I recall. There was a breaking down of those ones. Miranda, though, came out and her sister came out decent. Like, they, there was no talk of them going, being crazy or going. They, they seem like perfectly stable specimens. Shepard, uh, the Shepard clone, a little bit loosey goosey, a little bit out of control. But that Shepard clone uh, happened and had enough of the memories, too, intact where. I think it's all there. It's all in the books. There's the technology was out there. The Elusive Man had it. Dr. Law from Dr. Lawson, and that technology is out there. Someone could take the Shadow Broker could take it, so that's where the fan fiction starts. Liara, she hunted for Coyote the first time, and then you know that whole thing happened, and where she missed out. On, it's in the comics and stuff too, uh, where her trying to like get the body, and then it, anyway. So, but the idea there is that she is the Shadow Broker. She's gonna get the information with, with Miranda Lawson's help. It would be Miranda Lawson and Liara, they would go out there, possibly Tally would help. I mean, there'd probably be help from some of the, the companions would all pitch in, but I'm saying like the the, the, oper the brains of the operation would be Liara and Lawson. They would get the La Dr. Lawson's research. They would c get the, the elusive man stuff because at that point they would just start picking all that up because Cerberus is going to fall apart without the elusive man. And so uh, Arya would then help Liara get the information from uh, all those sects that start to defect because she'd have all her mercs go out there and try to gather information. They'd all pool and share that information. They would get enough, uh, possibly there's even like still uh, 
Shepard clone copies out there, like other bodies that the elusive man had in reserve. Because it's the elusive man. Why would he have just made one? So in my head, I'm like, no, he's probably got like, you know, a dozen of these things ready to go or in different states of evolution. Or maybe he like, uh, in the second book, uh, we learn about, uh, I forget her name, Jill, J Jill, Jillian. Jillian is like this uh, autistic biotic and she's like this super biotic um, and, they, and the elusive man was was uh, doing tests on her and trying to uh, make her uh, develop her powers quicker and more effective. Um, I'm really shocked that Jillian didn't make an appearance or maybe I missed it in Mass Effect 3. She really should have. Anyways, and so there's that. There's the idea that... Uh, uh, there was some other mine. Well, he did the indoctrination test, like he got the indoctrination uh, technique and then put it to Grayson. Anyways, there's a lot of technology out there where they could bring all that together and they could just create another shepherd body. They would create another shepherd body and download the intelligence or do the AI trick that uh, the elusive man did. Uh, how would they get these last memories uh i don't know they would get it as the stories of the events that happened and the choice that was made like they they manufacture something out of that uh possibly because uh with synthesis the citadel wouldn't get destroyed those archives would still be intact so they'd be able to then take those archives and they they, they could reconstruct commander shepherd uh and his mind and his memories he know he did it all he know he'd sacrifice himself and this might take years but then Jack would be in the room and with a clone and the clone would would open his eyes and the first thing the clone shepherd would see would be Jack and Jack would have been uh, the one to finally bring it back like because she'd be she'd come all the time and like talk to him and she'd finally like her badass would she like she'd be kind of like broken but at the same time she would she would have the strength the memory of Shepard would give her the strength to keep on visiting the the clone body and and talk to the consciousness that was still dormant and she would awaken the consciousness and and coyote would come back for Jack and so that was that's my ending I don't know what your ending is that's my ending and it works <laughs> fuck the game <laughs> okay let's see did that all really happen? Yes, but okay, some so. of the details have been lost in time. Let's see if anything changed there, but I don't think it so. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? They do look distinctly human, though, don't Anything they? Whereas the one where imagine. when you shoot the, the catalyst, Our they don't look like humans. Stars. One looks like an Asari, the other one, I don't know, looks like a Terry Each or something. Each of those Not stars could have many worlds. Fullest. <laughs> Fullest kid Every or something. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. I gotta Tell do me this another story, Dr. Shepard. It's getting late, but okay. it is getting late. One you have more no idea. Story. Okay, one more story, one more ending, and then we'll see if I can go on some other rant. I actually strung that. I I had ideas, but I didn't put it all together until that moment. So you guys got the first raw kind of collection of ideas put together for what my post game shepherd would be like. Okay, I will catch you back when we're going for the other choice. So we go for the last option. I wish they would have done this a little bit differently. Mm, like the reloading. Like, save it there. Don't don't make someone go through the entire thing again. It, unless the choices matter with the elusive man for what happens with this. Like how these things play out or what elements play out in what way. If none of it matters, we shouldn't have been starting. Entering the beam and going through all those cinematics again. I... Uh, Said that I've said this in other games. I'm not a fan of games that force you to go through unskippable cinematics. I'm not a fan. Okay, so here we go. This one is definitely like in my heart. It feels like this one could be, could be what I would have chosen. Uh, let me, let me just see, let me see what the cinematics are after this. <laughs> Because he is of the personality type where he would like, if I 
Just let me control things. I don't trust this AI thing. I think it's glitched. I think it's busted. But I think I could, like, Coyote's uh, got the ego to say, I can do it. I can do it. And I will do it. And I will look over the galaxy. And I will, the Reapers will be my agents. They will be my soldiers. And I will keep the peace, you know? see there with the kid because the kid goes away that's disgusting but I mean, it's because there's something All cool fleets. about coyote the crucible is armed disengage and head to the rendezvous point it's just I've already talked about it. The, the flaw there is, of course, the cycles, and cycles and cycles and cycles and cycles and cycles and cycles and Look, cycles later. I know. He might lose what we it's like to. to think like an organism, which is, I think, what the problem is with. I keep saying crucible with the catalyst. I think that's what the problem is with the catalyst. It's lost the ability to understand how this cycles organic and the ones prior for countless years, but it's lost. It lost, it lost the understanding of how they behave and what they want and what the true balance should be and et cetera, et cetera. So well, let's see what this, what happens here then. So he controls them. Think so we can, well, what happens to the husks and stuff then? Because the husks, well, they're just reapers too, I suppose. The shepherd become all the husks and stuff. I can create some... fan lore for uh I wouldn't need my clone stuff if like if the husks are are also shepherds let's see what happens here then he'll always be able to vi he'll always be able to visit Jask Jack and suck to take over one of these husk bodies but he'd be immortal <laughs> yeah well they're sort of zom zombie-ish but I'm saying if those all could be shepherd he could communicate through any of those husks then he's immortal <laughs> he could be with Jack that would work Yeah, I mean, if Edie, if Joker could be with an Edie, and Edie is the Normandy, which is the parallel there. I don't know if I talked about that, right? Because Edie is an uh, independent unit from the Normandy, just like Catalyst was an independent. Well, it wasn't really a physical unit, but you know what I'm saying? It was it, the Catalyst. The, the Citadel was part of the Catalyst. And the Catalyst was the Citadel, right? So it's kind of the same parallel, isn't there, with the Edie and the ship? It's cool. Destroy just feels like a like the fight got results. You know, whereas this is like, uh, well, no, they got Shepard. They got all of these together were able to put Shepard in the position he got to in order to make that decision in order to get this result. So they all had a stake in this. what it'll say in terms of Shepard as they are. I hope they say something to you. I could make any of the endings work for survival. We destroy, gives it to you. you. You breathe, you come back, you probably get repaired. Because you're a super soldier anyways. 
the other ones you have to fandangle. Wait a minute, I mean, would Edie, oh no, Edie was on the board. I was gonna say Edie could have just been the Normandy. She'd just been the, no, all, all AIs got blasted then? Couldn't they just reprogram an Edie though? They could just reprogram the Edie module and then find a way to unshackle it again and then Joker would have his Edie back. They just gotta work on it. They are well. Because they said things could get repaired, and to repair one of the Mass Effect, Mass Effect, the teleporter things, if you could do that, you could probably create Geths again and create uh, an ED intelligence and all that. So. And now we get to sit through the credits again. Eternal. Oh no, sorry. <gasps> Infinite. Whoa, okay, that's kick ass. Immortal. Immortal, yes. The man I was used these words. Oh, I got chills, that was his voice. But only now do I truly understand them. <laughs> and only now do I understand the full extent of his sacrifice. Through his death, I was created. Through my birth, his thoughts are free. Mm, that makes way more sense they to me. They guide me now. Mm -hmm. Give me reason. Oh, so direction. Like destroyed in the blast, no matter what. Just as he gave direction to the ones who followed him. The ones who helped him achieve his purpose. Now, oh, my I just purpose. Know. Oh, hey. Give the many hope for a future. To ensure that all have a voice in their future. Sounds so far so good. The man I was knew that he could only achieve this by becoming he's something great. Himself in the third. Well, he's definitely. There is power in control. First time we saw there is wisdom in harnessing the strengths of your enemy. The synthesis one, didn't we? They were green. I will rebuild what the many have lost. I will create a future with limitless possibilities. I will protect and sustain. So there you go. It's I will act as Reaper guardian police, for the Space many. Force, the Shepherd Corps. And throughout it all, I will never forget. Oh, that's a good ending. I like this one. This one feels. I will good. remember the ones who sacrificed themselves. So that the many could survive. I feel like there was a gap there. Why does it feel like we're in, were they standing in different places? I feel like was get was Gareth was Garrus in the red? Garrus was there, right? And I will watch over the, the ones who live on. But the pro with Kavik and those who carry the memory of the man who once was. I feel like there there was like a gap between. I thought the man who was gave up his there. life to become the one. Who could save the many? Hmm.
Oh, he didn't. Oh, so the Hogan synthesis is because she gets to live. And so Caden hugs her as a well, now you're now you're truly alive sort of feeling, sort of thing. Now we get to sit through the credits and see what happens with the telling of the shepherd. I just saw something in the credits that certain images provided by Getty Images. Two web stuff, so I mean, I'm, what? They used stock photo for something? Where would they have used a Getty image? doesn't make any sense to me okay oh in some of the posters and stuff they probably manipulated some of the posters okay here we go last bit did that all really happen yes but some of the details have been lost in time it all happened so very long ago so you only get the unique when can ending I go if to the you stars? don't make a decision. One day, my sweet. And then it goes to the other cycle, so... What will be there? Okay. Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. I think it's the same. I mean, it might be Each of those stars... Yeah. No, many could worlds, many not. Worlds. It's the same. Hmm. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Or what the Tell game could have done with sequels is they could have told this story. It's getting late, but okay. But from another perspective, you know what I mean? They could story. have made you a Corian. They could have made, or maybe it could have been Dragon Age, where you you could pick one of the other races, and then you could play through the entire timeline of this game. You could respect every choice that was made if you import the game too, and then. You just play it or don't. I don't know. I don't know how they would do that because a lot of stuff is literally like it's dependent on a save game. Maybe that's why they kind of just wanted to separate themselves from that sort of thing. Uh, I'm sure they could tell a story that doesn't have to get into the nitty gritty of all the choices that well, no, because some of them were very broad and very affecting. So I don't know how they could do it. You know what I'm saying? They could have like, I don't, know, I don't know. Tell a story from another perspective and uh and then go through that timeline that would be fun that would have been fun but uh, as i was speaking it i could see the difficulty uh this was a long video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, it's just kind of a uh, reminiscing and trying to get just all the the last two days of thoughts out there and as a video uh because i don't know when i'll come back i i have ideas of other videos i would like to do that are mass effect centric uh just th things I might find online, things I want to talk about. I'll figure out what that's going to look like. I would like to do that for Dragon Age 2 as soon as I'm done Inquisition. Maybe I'll wait till I'm done Inquisition and then I'll, because then I can kind of, when I'm scouring for information, uh, it, I don't want to stumble. Like, for example, if I'm looking for Mass Effect information, I don't want to stumble on someone talking about what happened in Dragon Age when they're talking about bio, uh, when they're talking about Mass Effect. I'm sure that's possible because it's all at the end of the day, people talking about Bioware. And I know that the turbulence of that because of Adromeda and, and the, the, the company kind of breaking apart to a certain extent because VA. So maybe I'll avoid all any other Mass Effect stuff because I do want to do content for the Bioware properties, Dragon Age and Mass Effect in particular. We'll see what that looks like in the future. And until then, don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, buddy. Peace. Mm -hmm.